Paloma here and welcome to my craft room. Today I am coming at you with a Timu and Shein craft supplies haul. I was kind of just strolling through the app, checking out a few things and decided to grab a few. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything that I got and we'll go over some prices and see what everything looks like. I think we'll go ahead and start off with Shein because I have a bigger Timu order. This is a little box of strawberry themed cards. It was only 99 cents. I thought these strawberries were super cute. And for being such small little postage size stamps or little cutouts, they're actually pretty detailed. So I kind of zoomed in so you can get a better look at what the little images look like because no matter what I do on the camera to zoom in from uh, overhead, it just doesn't get in that close. But they are so precious. They even have book pages under layers of strawberries. Do you see that? How cool is that? And all of that for 99 cents. Very sweet little strawberry themed die cuts, I guess, because <laughs> they're not stickers. They are beautiful. Next, I saw this pack of what they call flowers, but it also has the wax, the melted wax seals on there. I thought that was precious. It was $1.44 and you get quite a few pieces. They are transparent stickers. It's kind of what I've been going for because I don't really have a nice collection of transparent stickers. Here goes a closer look at the dried leaves or flowers. I love these. I love the way they look. I love the little wax seals. And I just love the fact that the colors are very much like dried dead herbs. <laughs> That's actually exactly what I wanted whenever I was looking at this because I have an apothecary and I do dry out our garden herbs. So this to me feels very homey. It feels very personal. So whenever I'm talking about drying out my herbs or creating some type of essential oil or maybe a tincture and I'm journaling about that, I can actually have something that looks similar to what I would actually be using in that situation. Next, I picked up these two packs. These are 30 pieces and they were $1.44. I feel like these have very much junk journal vibes and that is my favorite form of journaling. And there's so many in here, they're so detailed. They do remind me of the images from Canva, if you have Canva Pro. Okay, look at these images. I can't. They are gorgeous. I don't know if it's the background color, the splotches, the layers, the combination of drinks and treats and flowers. I don't know, but it's all perfect. So cute. Definitely one of my favorites. This is adorable. And they're transparent background and that's what I love the most. I think it's so sweet. These are also $1.44. So usually I'm not a blue person, but for some reason this kind of blue gray looks gorgeous with this color palette that they're using for the little carts, for the little cafes. They're beautiful and they're not small but they're not too big either, of course. So they'd be really good in a junk journal or however you're gonna use them, but I would use them in my memory planning. But look at that, look at the detail on each one of these little things, it's insane. The cafe has flower pots, tables, chairs. There's so much detail on these. The cart has a floral pattern on the side, vines growing up the cafe with the little things on the background in the glass. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Next we have these frames. These were a dollar 52. 
So I am a sucker for a good chunky vintage frame. If you look here, I actually customized tumblers using all of the vintage frames because it's one of the things that I absolutely love for vintage decor, even organization, repurposing into other things. I had a vintage frame that was a die cut or my magnet storage for my dies. I mean, I'm a sucker for a good vintage frame. All of these are for sale. These are my junk journal themed style kind of tumblers. But look at these. These are adorable. They'd be perfect for printed photos. You could even journal about the little ghost trend and create your own little landscape with a little ghost in there. Super cute. They're not too small, they're not too big. Perfect for a journaling page. Next we have these. So in my last haul, I showed y'all some similar stickers to this. It was the coffee theme. I love these little layouts and spreads that they do with the, with all the little details. Okay, so here's what the three sheets from this set looks like. You get two of each one of the sheets. So you have double prints. Little did I know, actually in the Timu haul, I ordered the same set. So now we have several of the same prints, but either way, it doesn't matter because look how beautiful they are. We have some gorgeous chairs, lamps, books, pianos, little wall art. I mean, these are precious. How can you not just have a great journaling session with cute little things like this? Next, we have this little paper pack of ephemera. It's $1.97. And this one has quite a few pieces in it, so we will try to move quick. Okay, so the only way to show you what exactly comes with this one in a fairly quick amount of time is just to lay it all out and show you the many different layers. How freaking cute is this? Gorgeous, vintagey papers. You have some advertisements in here, some receipts. Adorable prints. Look at that. And they go from a nice medium size to little small tabs that you can just layer on. But even the small ones look great. Look at that. And there's a lot of pieces in here. You can have fun for a nice long time with all of these. Next, this one was a dollar six. Again, with the layering details, I love that. I love that they create these cute little scenes for you. Look at this one. This one is not a big pack, but I didn't care. I really liked the crafty aspect of this and kind of like the paper layers and things like that because that's very fitting for my journaling. So that is pretty awesome. Next, we have this paper pack. It's a Christmas paper pack and it was $1.67 and I could not resist this because number one, it's stickers. They are sticker sheets. Number two, the vibe is totally vintage vibes and that's my favorite version of Christmas. And there was sweet treats and snack related themes and these gorgeous, Tags. How beautiful is this? Check this out. I mean, this is stunning. It is beautiful. I would love to incorporate these into a journal. This is fantastic. I am in love with this pack. And for a buck and change, a whole sticker sheet, that's pretty awesome. It did come with two of each one of the images. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, because it came with three of the tags. Next, we're gonna take a look at some washi. 
This was $1.45 and I basically got it because I wanted to just see for myself what you could get for $1.45 from Shein. Already you're off to a great start because you have a multi-roll pack for $1.45. Even if they're not necessarily sample sizes, but if they're small sizes, it'll still be worth your buck and change because you can't even walk into a dollar store and get this. You do get a nice amount for the price and uh, several different patterns. You could do a lot with just these little rolls of washi. Very pretty. Look at that. Eight rolls, a little more than a sample size for a buck and change to add to your collection. That's adorable. It's not like we need that much. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Coffee Diary Pack, and this one is $3.26. I actually love these packages. The last one that I got from Timu that looked like this, I loved it. I almost don't want to cut it open like I did the last one, so I'm gonna cut it open from the top here so that it opens up from the top and we're just gonna dump everything out. Okay, so the reason I like these packs so much is because you get a really good variety of different papers and styles to layer. They're already kind of distressed looking. I love the fact that they put little coffee stains. I, if you don't know, I'm a huge coffee lover. I love vintage and antique coffee things. So pairing that with junk journals is pretty ideal. Here goes our next size of paper. Now we have some little mini journaling sheets. I love this. I love that they mix it up. Like they give you a variety of styles and shapes. Look at that, how precious is that? They give you little journal pages, some straight images. I love when they make them a little extra feminine, but totally grungy, like that's so cute. And then we have antique scissors, little bumblebees, this is, freaking adorable and there's so many look at that oh I love it there's so many for the cost look at that that is fantastic it's beautiful yeah definitely love this pack next we have some transparent stickers if I'm not mistaken these are stickers if not then they're just clear but I'm pretty certain they're stickers So you get two and two of the big frames and then you get little accessory stickers. How freaking cute is that? And you even get some tags. These are thicker paper tags. And then you get a ton of little tiny stickers. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna try to just lay these. These aren't glossy or anything, so I can actually just kind of lay these or spread them out and you can see them. And these are stickers as well. Look at that, how precious are these? They are perfect for the coffee lover, for the junk journaler, for someone who likes to journal about coffee and food. This is adorable. You have modern images, you have antique images, you have cafe style, you have all kinds of different things going on here in that one little pack. I absolutely love it. Three dollars and change. Totally worth it. Okay, so that was it for Shein. Let's go ahead and do Timu next. Starting off, I am doing a craft room tour and I recently got to decorate my antique spoon or my souvenir spoon rack 
with my blending brushes. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where I first shared it, but I will be showing it in the upcoming craft room tour. So you can either check it out on Instagram or you can just wait till the tour comes out. But either way, I'm actually using these on the back of my souvenir spoon rack for my ink blending pads because the brushes are on the front side and the pads are on the back side. I want to keep them free of debris and also keep them soft. Make sure that that ink doesn't dry hard because I have a ceiling fan over this area. I found these on Timu for $1.87 and there are a lot in here. They, the little sponge pad fits perfect in there. I'm just putting an adhesive Velcro round on the back and then attaching the other part to the back of the rack. That way I can just press it on there and it will be lined up real pretty next to a swatch of the actual color and label and all that good stuff. And this is perfect because it's super lightweight. The Velcro doesn't have to fight to keep it up. And there's so many in a pack for $1.87. I thought that was amazing. I actually got two packs of these, but I used the first pack already for my blending sponges. And so I definitely wanted to make sure that whenever I accumulate more over time, I have the same storage system to apply to that. Now I have started reducing plastics in my office, but there are instances where I will allow myself to keep them such as this. Next, I found this little tiny mini set of a deck of cards and I could not resist it they are super tiny itty bitty little tiny cards for a dollar 48 and you get the punch out card box for you to be able to fold up you can see it here and then the backs of the cards are actually colored and each card gets punched out and you have a tiny little deck don't ask why i really don't know why i just did so i got those Next, I wanted to see this one. This one was $2.48. It was higher than I wanted to pay, but there's 80 sheets in here and look at what it is. It is just gorgeous, vintage imagery. You have a little dolls, little baby dolls. How freaking cute is this? Oh my gosh, this is so sweet we have little red riding hood my goodness there are just so many in here this is adorable i couldn't pass it up two dollars and change i had to get it there's just a bunch of little images in this book that you could layer into a kids junk journal theme book then we have a fairy garden theme I don't even know if you can see this. It's about two inches. Or it's bigger than two inches, probably about two and a half inches. And then the images repeat, but in dark craft paper. Absolutely love this. There was no way I was gonna leave it. I had to get it $2.48. Next, we got this one here. This one was $1.29, also stickers. I'm telling you, I was really trying to build up my sticker collection for junk journaling. I have a sticker collection already of like cutesy stickers, but I really wanted some junky, vintagey, old looking themed stickers. Perfect for junk journaling. This one is ladies. They are fancy, you can't really see them. They're just really pretty fancy ladies in many different styles and each one of them is their own sticker. Look at that. How gorgeous are they? Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. Here's another small one. This one was 248 as well. And I, the reason I've been going for small stuff is because I actually journal in a mini happy planner and you only got so much room, but you want layers. If you're a junk journaler, and you journal in a mini happy planner or something like that, you want layers. No matter how small your planner is, you want it to be how you want it to be. So this is just a bunch. Okay guys, so I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, there are no repeats. And this one has to be my absolute favorite. It's a little strawberry 
fairy. O-M-G. Okay, and these are not stickers. I already tried to peel it up, but who cares? A little glue runner on the back there. That is adorable. Next, we have these travel stickers. This one was 89 cents. Now, I am not a huge traveler. I'm actually not interested in going in literally anywhere except for Italy. Aside from that, I don't care to go anywhere. But these are beautiful. Some are travel related, but I feel like you could work these into so many other different themes and styles because you have books, you have uh, hourglass, typewriters, journaling stuff, really nice detailed little images. This one is the one that's most related to traveling, but it's not really like that crazy where it's the whole pack that's just all travel themed. So I was okay with that. I might go somewhere someday some on some trip, but that is going to be enough for me. All this other stuff is really cool as well. So I decided to go ahead and get it because I really like the imagery. Next, I didn't realize that I had already ordered these from Timu when I placed the order with Shein, but I don't even care. I'm okay with having two sets of the same stickers. They are beautiful. I love them. The imagery is gorgeous and they will be used regardless. So I did pick up another set of the furniture stickers. I also ordered four of the handles at $1.98 for the wax melt plates. These are beautiful handles. Very good quality, gorgeous semi-matte finish. That is gorgeous. And it has a metal hardware in there. And the metal plates were $1.61 for this pretty floral plate. And it goes on there very nicely see that gorgeous flower it's a rose and then we have this one at a dollar 79 and I did get this one for Christmas look at that cute love that and I actually have a stash of little boxes including a cigar box I showed on Instagram today for with all my wax melts and stuff in it so those are beautiful and I love the black handles. That's gorgeous. Speaking of wax melts, I have a 10, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, yeah, 10 color kits. So I actually found this cigar box while thrifting and it just so happens that all of my little pellets fit perfectly in here and I even have a little room to grow. Now these don't usually stay in here, but they're just in here because it's super cute like that. And I have this really cool little spoon to dig some of them out. But look at that. 10 different colors for a buck 34. Not bad at all. And I just combined them into my little box of my little pellets. Let's look at some sticker rolls. I am very excited. So I actually ordered these twice on Timu because I saw it and then I ordered it and then I saw it again and ordered it thinking I didn't order it, but I don't care. They are beautiful. I love them. So I was okay with having two sets. This one is a clear sticker roll. I've really started to enjoy these. This is $1.97 and this roll was $1.47. This one is called Nature and this one is called The Sunset Clouds and the Flowers sleep. I'm not going to open this one just because there's no need, but let's take a look at this one first. Take a look at that. How gorgeous are those? Oh my gosh. So satisfied. So satisfied. They are beautiful. And they are paper, so you can ink them and distress them and add them into your junk journal layers. Very pretty. You can put them as book plates, all kinds of stuff. This is gorgeous. I am in love. I'm glad I got this one. Oh, it's a paper roll. That's right. I forgot. It's a, pap it's a washi paper roll, so it's backed like that. Look at that. 
That is beautiful. So excited for that. I love that. Next, we have this paper pad. It's the Book of Notes. It was $4.25, but I believe, or $4.29. I believe there's like 80 some odd sheets in here. I wanted to get multiples, but I wanted to look at one first before I did. And the reason I loved it is because look at those edges. They're like torn edges. Oh my gosh. I love that. Yeah, I'm definitely satisfied with that. It has the flowers stamped on there over music sheets. That is beautiful. Look at that. Different types, different styles, some more transparent than others, but I love the torn edge. I think that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, very happy with that one. Next, we have a Halloween set. This one was a buck 60. And it said no repeat stickers. Oh no, this isn't Halloween. This is the Alice in Wonderland. It says no repeat stickers. So all of these should be individual different stickers. Oh yeah, these are beautiful. Very good quality. They're like a semi, like a semi matte smooth finish. Almost like velvety to the touch. Really nice. Next we have the people. This one was $2.69. You know you can't have too many old looking people or old world looking people. And this is just a bunch of gorgeous women dressed up through different eras. And I like this one because it has a variety. I was gonna get a few, but I couldn't decide at first on whether or not I wanted the Victorian style or the like new era style women. I just couldn't tell which ones I really wanted because I kind of vibe with both. I love that stage in Downton Abbey where the world is like changing and it's going from like old world conservative to new age progressive and stuff like that. I think it's so cool to see the times change so fast and so drastically like that. But look at these ladies. Oh my gosh. Yes, I can't. There's just, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. There's a hundred pieces of these fabulous ladies dressed up to the nine. Look at that. The days of mourning, <laughs> all black. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. I actually made a junk journal. Hold on. I love this vibe so much that I actually made a junk journal style tumbler with, you can see a very fancy lady there and then another one here, another one here. It's a total vibe. I absolutely love it. This is for sale, in case you didn't know. It's $45 shipped. Shipping is like 10 bucks, so yeah. This is so awesome. I love, if you're into dark academia, maximalism, junk journaling, you wanna be drinking water or whatever it is that you drink out of this in your craft room, hit me up. Anyway, these are awesome. I am so happy with this purchase, especially because they're slightly transparent or tra like translucent. So it'll show different things through it whenever you are layering, and I like that. Whenever I'm creating on Canva, I like to increase the transparency so that you can see different layers through the image. Here we go again. I must have loved them so much that I got paper stickers. These were $1.78 of more of the ladies. But I think this one, oh no, it is. Yeah, it's more ladies, but these are more like paper-like. I love this, that's so cute. Look at that dress, oh my gosh. Look at that hair. I love, love, love these images. That is gorgeous. Look at that. How not, how not? For $1.78, yes please. They're going in my drawer, in my junk journal drawer. So this one is a Christmas themed one. This one was $1.79 and these are stickers. 
And these are supposed to be those no repeat kits. Okay, so they absolutely do not repeat and they are stunning. Look at these images. I love everything about them. So cute. All the vintage vibes. Now I can do without the angels as far as my vintage Christmas goes, but they can be worked into different things and they are really cute. They're well done, so that's a good thing. But look at that. I swear all of the details and all of these different things is just spot on. I am in love. Look at the little box. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, this is a great, great set. And this, this material, again, is that very smooth, smooth paper. And the images are very clear and pretty. And it's not glossy, but it's not super matte either. We have another seasonal one here. This is a no repeat of Halloween. Oh yeah, you are getting no complaints from me. Everything is perfect in this set. This is freaking adorable. This is adorable. I don't think there's one image on here that I do not like. I love every single one of them. They're on point. Look at this guy. Look at him. How cute. Look at this one in the pajamas. Freaking cute. Look at this one. Ugh. I love them. I love them 100%. Okay, so we are in our last set. This one was 74 cents, and it's just a kit of vintage vellum stickers. And there are a lot in here. Oh yeah, these are just tons of vintage vellum style stickers. You got film strips, planets, bikes, moths. I got the, I love this because the moths are very like Tim Holtz vibes. And then you have some TVs in there, old world, couple, film. And then of course the people, more people. Can't have enough people, especially holding umbrellas. Then we have some castles, carriages, flowers. <clears throat> Very cute. We have planets, furniture pieces, ladies in dresses. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You can't, you can't tell me this is not awesome. And again, it's like a slightly translucent so you'll be able to layer things behind it and it will kind of show through. I love doing that. Look at that, it's a wedding. Oh my gosh. It's a house and a couch and a stair rail. <laughs> so many cool little images. And these are stickers. So they stick down, look at that. Yeah, this is a great set. I love this set. And for 79 cents, I wonder if I can still get it for 79 cents. Cause if I can, I'm gonna go order more. <laughs>
Okay, friends, so that is it for my Timu and Shein haul. So many gorgeous, affordable, crafty, goodness buys. I am uber excited to sort them into their categories and get them put into organization systems where they belong. That way, whenever I need to use them, I can just run over into the space where they are, find them, use them, and love them, and incorporate them into my journaling. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite sticker pack category thing was. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I post. You can follow me on my social media on Instagram where I put you all up in my business and show you all of the crafty goodness and organization goodness that we are doing or I'm doing. Hashtag Bates House pretty much anything and we will be there. But for now, guys, that is it for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.